I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down all around. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another inspired look, but this time it is the Selena Gomez Met Gala makeup look. This makeup look was done by Hung Van Gogh. I'm obsessed with his stuff. He does incredibly complimentary makeup and it always just looks so, I don't know, like effortless and uses almost like minimal product as well and just creates the most gorgeous faces. I love, love, love his work. As you guys know, the Met Gala was literally yesterday and there were some incredible makeup looks. So let me know who your favorite makeup was in the comment section down below. As I showed earlier, this selfie of Selena literally just caught my eye. I just thought it was such a different shape, a different look, something that I never really have done on my channel and I love recreating people's looks so I thought why not do this one. I know everyone might not be a fan of like the super nude lip or anything like that but I just thought it would be fun to recreate. You guys know I love a good nude. I love a sparkly eye and I wanted to do it as best as I could and I know Hung uses a lot of Marc Beauty because he is a Marc Jacobs Beauty Ambassador. Fortunately I do have a lot of Marc Beauty <laughs> Fortunately, I do have a lot of Marc Beauty makeup products, so I have tried to use as many as I can just to kind of really get the look, but for the products that I don't have, I've used affordable substitutes, so I've really tried to mix up, but obviously just use what you've got and make use of what you have if you love this look and want to recreate it yourself. So if you're liking the look of this makeup look already, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell, because I love to shout you guys out when you let me know. So this week's notification bell shout out goes to Lindsay Alvis that says notification bell on love this look you're so pretty oh thank you girl I love ya thank you guys so much for all your support I read through all your comments so yeah if you're subscribing and hitting the notification bell on this video let me know and next week it could be you so if you like the look of this makeup look already please 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 give it a thumbs up to show your support and if you'd like to see how I got this makeup look then please keep watching Okay, so like I said, actually I'm not sure I said it in the beginning of the video, her makeup artist use a lot of Marc Beauty products because he is a Marc Jacobs Beauty Global Ambassador. And I do fortunately have quite a lot of Marc Beauty stuff, I'm on their PR list, I've purchased some, I love their stuff. But for the stuff that I don't have, I've tried to kind of use affordable products, so we're going to be kind of using a mix of stuff throughout this video. Now her skin kind of looked super satiny and dewy, so I'm going to be prepping my skin and I'm actually going to be mixing the these two products together. This is the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer and this is the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops in Do You. And I'm just gonna do a couple of pumps of each on my face and just kind of give me the best glow but also prime my skin at the same time. I love the way these two kind of work together. I love that primer. As you can see, I'm literally like finished up with it. It's such a nice feeling primer on the skin. Feels super hydrating and nourishing because obviously it has coconut elements to it, which is what that does. And those dew drops are literally gorgeous. But if you wanted affordable dupes of both of those, I would definitely say like either the L'Oreal drops that are out at the moment or the Maybelline Master Strobe Cream. And then for like an affordable version of that primer, the NYX Total Control Drop Primer almost feels like that. It's not as just, like wet feeling. As that but I feel like they do the same kind of thing. Okay now our skin is like set and glowing. I'm going to be taking the Marc Beauty Shameless Foundation. I love this foundation. It's kind of super full coverage but I am going to be using a damp sponge to apply it to sheer it out and give it more of that satiny feel and look that Selena's skin had. I'd be surprised if they use anything other than this because this is kind of their foundation that is their newest one and that they're promoting at the moment and it just honestly makes the skin look gorgeous just like her. I am using the color, the color. I think it's Y420. 420 blaze it. Um, which is like one of their tan, I think it's like tan YB420. Just means there's a slightly more of a more olivey undertone and it matches nicely with the tan on my body. Selena was looking very tanned that night. I feel like a few people had something to say about her spray tan that she had going on, but I'm I'm all for fake tan and spray tans. So I was more interested in what her makeup looked like than even noticing that she had gotten a spray tan. 
So I just applied that with my Beauty Blender to kind of help sheer it out and allow the glow from underneath to come through. But for concealer, I'm just going to be taking the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade C8.5. I love this concealer. You guys know, everyone knows how incredible this is. The coverage is amazing. The color range is extraordinary and I just like for the price point, which is four pounds, this is insane. Selena did look as if she had a slightly brighter under eye, so I like this one in the sense that it's not too bright. It just kind of blends really nicely into the color of the foundation without kind of looking too striking. I'm not gonna be a cream contouring today, so that's kind of all the cream products that they were gonna be using for now. I'm just gonna lightly go ahead and set my face in place with my favorite powder. This is the Beauty Bakery Yellow Flower Loose Powder. And I'm just gonna do that really lightly. I'm not gonna bake, because she did look like she had that like natural sweat glow look going through, which is kind of what we want. And I'm also gonna go ahead and do my brows. And to do that, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz in medium brown, just because because hers looked very lightly feathered through. So just go ahead and do your brows the way that you would. I know brows can be quite a specific thing and this is an inspired look, which is kind of why I'm switching up and using a pencil because they didn't look too defined or anything like that. And then we'll be back to finish off the skin. Okay, so I just went ahead and powdered my face and did my brows. And I was just gonna use a pencil, but then the more and more I was looking at that picture of Selena, they were just so like feathery. And I don't have feathery eyebrows, so I grabbed my Benefit Gimme Brow and I feel like that has literally just like changed my brows. So that's definitely like a must have product for the brows like this. But now let's go ahead and like I said, finish off the face. Okay, so to bronze up my skin and her skin was very bronze, I'm gonna be taking the Tantastic Oh, Omega bronzer from Marc Jacobs. It's literally like whoo, the biggest bronzer that I own. I know that this packaging is, I think, limited edition. They do sell it regularly now. I'm just going to take a big brush and just work it into kind of like the perimeters of my face, my cheeks. I always forget about this bronzer because. I keep it not with my regular bronzers because it's too big and it doesn't fit. I always keep it in like my face palettes like drawer. But this bronze is actually so good. It smells like coconuts. The color is really kind of natural and it blends so amazingly into the skin. I feel like it's really buildable as well. So just applying that in all the places that you would with a bronzer. Imagine putting that like in your clutch bag. <laughs> No thanks. Next up, it is a little bit of a blusher and she kind of had like a peachy vibe going on. So I'm gonna take the Marc Beauty Lines and Last Night Blusher. These kind of like mixed together really remind me of the L'Oreal Peaches Blush. So again, another affordable dupe for this. I'm just applying that on the apples of my cheeks. Just something super light and natural because in the picture you can't really see much of a highlight either and her skin looked fairly satin in general but not very like highlighted so I'm just going to take the Marc Jacobs glow stick in spotlight which is literally just like a cream pearlescent highlighter just take my finger and just dab it on the tops and just work it into the skin. The warmth from your finger will really help to, you know, blend this out and make it look like a super natural glow. And I feel like that's kind of all she had really going on. It wasn't anything too intense. It was just kind of like a soft, natural looking glow. But just for the tiniest little bit more of a highlight, I'm literally going to take the tiniest amount of those dew drops again. I literally done one pump on the back of my hand and taking my blank canvas cosmetics brush like I always do. Just put that on the top. So again, it's still sticking with the like creamy looking vibes. There's no powder highlight vibes going on. Just amplifying that. I'm just going to place that on the ball of my nose, on my cupid's eye, kind of just in all the usual spots, but just obviously using a cream instead. And I'm just gonna rub the excess of that on all of my hands and onto a towel. 
So that is kind of the skin complete. I'm going to go ahead and spray my skin with the Gold Light Fix Plus Spray to set everything in place and kind of add a little bit of a moistured look to the skin. Ooh. So I'm just going to kind of let that dry. I'm going to go ahead and do one eye because I just want to have a little play around and see what's the best technique to do because it's such a unique eye shape that she's been kind of given and created. I'm going to test out a couple of products and then I'll be back to show you because this is literally my favorite part of the whole look. Okay, so like I said, I think her eyes are probably the most iconic part of her makeup look and the perfect palette I felt to use for this was the Makeup Revolution times Sophie Does Nails palette. It contains literally like an array of colors. This palette is literally only 10 pounds. We're gonna be focusing more on like the foiled goldy green shadows and possibly a few of the matte brown shades. But to begin with, I'm gonna be mixing these two shades together here on the eye. But to kind of of map out where we're going to be placing them I'm just going to be taking the Marc Jacobs highliner in overt it's kind of like a muted olive green kind of color and just kind of look straight forward and map out the kind of cut crease because she kind of created her own so I'm just going to go a bit higher than my natural crease and just take it down kind of in parallel to our brows just kind of like so it doesn't have to be very neat it just kind of gives us a little bit of like a guideline and a mappage you could use you could use eyeshadow to do that but like I said I'm just going to be mixing those two foiled shadows together and going straight on to my lid with them it was definitely like a golden olive like really like yellow gold theme going on and we are going to be kind of concentrating that yellowy gold color more with glitter so just kind of mixing these olivey tones to act as a like base underneath that glitter so just kind of really like pressing them onto the lid and it does come out in a slightly winged out fashion now we're going to go straight into the glitter i've been using these so much recently this is the Stila, the glitter and glow liquid shadow i think i use this in my ariana grande tutorial as well everyone seems to just be loving the kind of like thick chunky glitter vibe and this gives that appearance but in like a liquid form so i'm literally just going to be piling this on kind of majority of the eye but kind of leaving out the end tail part here because we are going to be going in with a bit of like a winged shadow effect but literally taking this all the way up to the new crease that we created and just building it up as much as you want. I feel like a lot of the glitter was concentrated mainly in the kind of like center of the eye, as you can see. I'm just gonna kind of really lay it down that color. And I'm also just gonna be taking a little bit of the NYX glitter in gold. And like I said, kind of concentrating that mainly just on the center portion of my eye, just so it really like captures the light. Just put a little bit of glitter glue down just where I kind of want it to go, like I said, mainly in the center, and just pack it on. Really just creating this intense golden glitter like so, I'm now just going to be taking a, another MAC Beauty highliner. This is in the colour Irony, and it's basically just like a really dark matte grey. I'm just going to be running this along my lash line, like so, just kind of creating like a medium size line across my lid, and then just tiniest bit, drag it out. Just literally the tiniest bit because I'm really going to be creating the winged shape with just a small angle brush because these are so easy to blend. I'm just going to be, you see, dragging and blending that out with the brush. Her eyes were very like elong, elongated, if that makes sense. Everything was kind of winged out. So just kind of like so. Then I'm just going to be taking the shimmery white shade from the same Sophie palette and just one place that in my inner corner and also just on my brow bone. 
Now I'm just going to take a small pencil brush and this kind of darker brown shade here. And I'm going to be running this along my lower lash line. Not really smoking it out too far as you can see because hers wasn't super smoky. It was more just to kind of add a little bit of warmth to complement her eye colour. And then just kind of like connect it all together. So literally I'm just going to leave it like that. And finally, it's time for mascara and lashes. I'm just going to be using the MAC Extended Play just to apply a light coat of mascara. And for lashes, I'm going to be taking the Eyelure 201. You can see they go from very, very thin to very winged out, and that's definitely the look she had going on. Like I said, it was so, like, elongated and sultry and kind of cat eye ish but still kind of blown out at the same time so these lashes are going to be perfect for that so I'm going to go ahead and do that now so these are the finished eyes they are kind of super like artistic I love them I think the lashes are like perfect they're just so subtle they look so like natural eyelashes they're like perfect if you just like a little bit of like elongation if you know what I mean I'm obsessed with just how like over the top and glittery this is and now it is time for that super nude lip I literally feel like I almost don't need one. Her lip almost looked like, almost like foundation lips. So the first lipstick that came to mind was Myth by MAC. So I'm literally just going to go ahead and apply that straight away. No lip liner or anything. And just kind of really pat it and work it into my lips to kind of achieve the same look that she had going on. Just kind of really like soft, but I do feel like I need a bit of like definition somehow. So I'm just going to take the Soph palette and take that white shimmery champagne shade and just kind of pop it on my cupid's bow. Just to kind of make it stand out that little bit more. But I feel like this is the finished look. So this is my finished Selena Gomez Met Gala 2018 inspired makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. A slightly different technique, different products, all that kind of good stuff. So let me know your thoughts on it down below. I was obsessed with it in the sense I just thought it was something different, really kind of avant-garde, like, I don't know, just something a little bit different for me, a different look. So I really hope you guys appreciate that. Let me know who your favorite makeup look was from the Met Gala in the comment section down below and what you thought of this one. But until the next video, I will see you then. Bye guys. Held you close by the stormy seas. Oh, you meant the world to me.